Hello everyone, my name is Katrin Salami and we are students of Nassau State University, Kepi. Today we are here with Dr. Yusuf Daniel and we are here to talk about sickle cell disease. So we are here to ask, what is sickle cell? Good afternoon everyone. My name is Ganiet, as I've been earlier introduced. I'm a senior registrar in the Department of Pediatrics, Federal Medical Center, Kefi. I'm in the hematology uh, unit of the department presently. So this is so we said it's genetic. So it's not like uh, malaria that we can easily use anti-malaria for and it, 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 we treat it. So, but there are ways to prevent it uh, from preventing those that are affected from coming down with severe complications of the uh, disease. It's a genetic disorder. So, the only way to uh, um, measures that are put in have been put in place now to see if we can, you know, say it's a cure is doing like a, a stem cell transplant. So that's exchanging where the origin of the blood is itself, trying to see if it can change so that the new stem cells we put will be able to generate uh, newer red blood cells that are not sickle cell. For now, we can only take care of the presentation of the disease and try to ameliorate the complications they may come down with as much as possible by giving them what we call hydroxyurea, which are modification, uh, drugs that help them modify the disease. Then we can also have like chronic breast cell transfusion. You have to be transfusing them like every three, three months. That way they don't come down with severe form of the disease. But right now, there's no like straightforward cure for the disease. Okay, as a doctor, what are the challenges you face with this set of people that are having this disease, sickle cell anemia? Uh, the main the main challenge we have with them is um, retention and care. Like, you know, they have sickle cell anemia, or the parents, because I'm in pediatrics, so I deal with children, and children don't have, like we say, they can't take their own decision. So everything, their care, still lies with their parents. So it's the healthcare seeking behavior of our patients. Then some people have um, some beliefs that when this child, has, uh, sometimes when they come, they need to be transfused. When you give them blood, the fear is that, ah, no, we don't want blood for this child. The ones who give this child blood, this, blood will continue, this child will continue collecting blood, which is not always so. Even though we know that in sickle cell anemia, there may be conditions that make their blood to be very low, that you may need to transfuse them. But it's not as if uh, once you transfuse her, it's, it's going to be a no. So those are one of um, part of the challenges. Okay, um, Ma, do sickle cell patients undergo surgery? Not as if the sickle they do. They they undergo surgeries when they have need for them. Like it's not that this person has sickle cell and one of the ways to cure or treat the disease is having the surgery, but they may present with some conditions that we necessitate having surgeries. The, when the need calls for it. They can undergo surgery. Sickle cell disease is not a cause, it is not a death sentence, it is a manageable disease. Sickle cell is an inherited disorder of the homoglobin in the blood. Hello everyone, my name is Anatu Isa. I'm from Nassau State University, Kefi. And I'm here with Ms. Joy. We're here to talk about sickle cell anemia. Hi, my name is Joy, and I'm also a student of Nassau State University, Kefi. I'm a sickle cell anemia patient and I'm glad to be here. I would like to ask you, how long does your, your crisis last? Um, it actually depends. Yes, it actually depends. There are times where you can have a crisis for a day. There are times when I have crisis for three days. The longest I've had is for three weeks. Yes, and it's actually a difficult question to answer because um, what I'm saying about two days, one day, three, three weeks is the time that I was in the hospital. Most times, when you're back from the hospital, the crisis still extends. It's just that it's manageable at home. Miss Joy, have you ever been stigmatized? About stigmatization, I cannot exactly say that I've been stigmatized. I think that the general response that I have from people is compassion and kindness. 
Um, the only thing close to stigmatization that I've experienced is people talking carelessly. And most times it's not even on purpose, it's not deliberate, but people can just say careless words, behave, you know, in certain ways around you that make you, that remind you that you are sick. But stigmatization, not really. Miss Joy, do you have a bad habit that could worsen your situation? I, I won't say it's a bad habit. Well, maybe, maybe it is. I think the thing that can worsen my situation, that, or that usually worsens my situation, is procrastination or laziness. Sometimes I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired of taking drugs, and I just, I'm like, I beg. So, yeah. Because I am a secret warrior, does not mean I cannot do anything. I can do anything and everything I want to, as long as I put my mind to it. Know your genotype before any relationship. A newborn screening includes survivability.